Uh, absolutely. Uh, one, one luxury that I have is uh, knowing a lot of wonderful people that exist in our community and uh, we are so fortunate today to have this gentleman who is truly an expert uh, in trauma um, and he will explain a little bit about his background. And, uh, um, long story short, uh, Aaron has uh, had an extensive uh, footprint in this community for quite some time. Uh, you'll find that uh, his uh, approach to dialogue is quite engaging. But I think what's more important uh, is the, uh, I guess the connection we had as of yesterday, which was really one of those serendipitous things that yesterday the town of Orangeville uh, ended up having uh, retired General Rick Hillier in town to speak uh, about leadership. But he was also speaking about the military. And what was incidental about the discussion is somewhat of what Darren is going to talk about. Now, Darren has a very successful firm, and it is called uh, Davidson Rehab, uh, which he will uh, explain a little bit about. It uh, deals with the patients with brain injury and a variety of other uh, circumstances. That, so uh, as opposed to hearing me speak, you're here to welcome and also listen to uh, Darren Davidson. So welcome, Darren, to Thank our you. students in these So uh, you yeah, uh, all got here. Is this the whole class right now, or no, are we for, now. for now? How many, how many students do you normally have? <laughs> but usually they all get. But yeah. Okay. So this is like half the class. Okay. And I notice there's no no men well, in the seats. Two. Two that are currently enrolled in the program. We just don't see them. They just don't show up. <laughs> okay. okay. Here again, we're too much. Right. Right. Well, which leads to this. Uh, good to see you. I'm glad to be here. Thank you. Um, I'll get into what I do in a bit, but first of all, I, I want to know from you guys uh, what I want to hear. What you think? What this course is about? And why you are here today? And what interests you? You're here because you want you want to help, correct? Yeah. Right. Right. So the next thing, and you brought this up, self awareness, right? So that's one great thing. The other thing, though, is I'm always curious why you're here, and what is it about you that you you say you want to help, but what made you your self awareness? What drew you to this? Sometimes I think. It's, sorry, go ahead. Yeah. Um, I had children. <laughs> So you have children, so that means, I just, right, gotcha. So you're here for a, a general good cause. Some of you may be here because you've experienced trauma. Or a friend of yours or a family member may have experienced something. And I'll give you very, just, just put this up front. I might use some profound language throughout the day uh, to represent things that happen in the field. If that offends you, I'm okay with that. Um, you're free to leave at any time, and I'm not offended by that. But I'm just going to be uh, very upfront with you about what I've seen and what, what you might experience. You know, you said you've experienced some things. And so I, I imagine if you're going to get into this field, you have a capacity to expect uh, not everything to be smooth all the time. Okay, so the so only question I'd ask you is, are you aware of how your, your view on things is going to impact the client? And do you ever think that my view on things is not necessarily the best thing for the client. And, then, and if you think that, how do you mitigate that throughout your career? And what I'm trying to say is, uh, we'll, we'll touch on this a bit, uh, your ethics, your values, your culture, right? They're going to play a role in how you interact with the client, okay? And you have to do the damnedest job to make sure it doesn't interfere with their goals, okay? Um, I'm sure you, you're all aware of that. And well, what that requires is for you, as a clinician, right, to know yourself best, know thyself. I'm not going to get into religion or anything like that, but you know, know thyself comes from an interesting book, and uh, it, it, it proves true for me in the field. Is one of my goals that I always wanted to do is have the truth come out from the clients. Okay, if you can't get that out of the clients, you will never be as successful as possible as a clinician. You won't find, you won't have the clients reach their goals, etc., etc., etc. So, if you're the type of person I would suggest that doesn't want to understand their own situations, um, you might want to start doing that. Okay, and if that means you have to revisit your own trauma or situation or whatnot, do that. Do that. Do that. Do that. Because at some point in your career, it's going to come up and it's going to be a barrier for you. Now, when we deal with clients. What are we basically dealing with? Barriers. There are barriers. That's really what it's about. And you don't want to be that barrier for them. So, and I just want to put that out there. Uh, that sounded a little preachy. But at the end of the day, you know, I see a lot of people in the field that probably should not be there. They're well 
well-intentioned, they're great people. You know, maybe they should be nurses. Nurses are great, they're good for critical care and all that stuff, right? But when it comes down to it, where you're interviewing people, you're counseling people, it's, you know, it's a little extreme to say it's life and death. It's a little bit dramatic. But the reality is, I've seen situations where it is life and death, okay? And I know one wasn't a direct client of mine, but in a facility I work, a nine-year-old kid was killed by a worker. And that's because of a bad intervention situation, et cetera, et cetera. Et cetera. So there's a whole uh, scope and breadth of uh, experiences you may uh, find, and it's all gonna start with you. And you need to be the captain, the boss, the CEO of what you do. And again, so backing up, it all starts now with you understanding who you are and why you do this. So I can't emphasize that more. Um, and I've learned that, that because I've seen neuropsychologists and great people, but when they get involved with clients and clients present uh, some difficult situations, inevitably I've seen OTs lose their minds in a session. Or one OT would just spout out in the middle of the session going, I did not sign up for this. And we're all floored. And she was told to leave the, the file and all that. But that exposed her. And you know, she should probably be an OT, not in brain injury, uh, or not in critical care. So I just want to emphasize, get to know yourself really well. So a bit about me, yes, go ahead.